already have iBooks Author open and what we're going to do is going to start a new project. iBooks Author, go to File, New from Template Chooser. Let's go for a basic one which is uh, this one here. Click on Choose. That's taken us full screen right away with that, which is okay for the moment. Now one of the first things you're going to want to do is to set up your book title. And it's quite easy to do. You've got stuff on there that uh, you can uh, move out of the way. So I don't need that picture on there. I could just drag and drop a picture into it. If I just have that there for instance. So if I want to I could just take a photograph, drag it and drop it in there. And I've got my photograph in there. But that's not the way I want to do it. Um, because I find it just awkward if the photo doesn't just match the size of the mask that you have there already and sometimes I find it's just easier just to drop the photograph on there and that's what I'm going to do for the front of this book. So let's just delete that for the moment. I want a background that's going to fill the space of it so that's going to put that in there. Let's just uh, put that up there. Now what we need to do with this is need to send it to the back so we can go to the arrange menu and send to back. No, it's not doing the thing where it's sending the text all over the place. And I can expand it so that it will fill the space. Me space filled up there. Now this uh, book title, and I want to call the book iPad Photo Apps. And I want to have that in the text so that it shows out a little bit better. I think we're going to need a, a lighter colour for that. So let's choose colour off the uh, colour chooser over there. Better, doesn't it? And same here, I have to put something else in there so that it's readable. And let's change the colour of it first. We'll go for uh, Amazing iPad up there. How about that? And then at the bottom here, I'll put my name. And again, we're going to choose a colour for that over there. So that's that pretty much set up. You could do other things with it as well, of course. For instance, if you want to add uh, maybe a few other pictures on there. So for instance, we've got our media browser over here. Let's uh, put this on here. That's something that came from one of my uh, iPad applications. We'll have this picture here on there too. As you can see, I've got a train based theme here. Could put this on here too. So I've got th three photographs on there. Change the size of them a little bit there. You can of course do all the things with your uh, inspector. So for instance we want to uh, go to this here, we want to put a shadow on there we can do. Uh, we can have a stroke on there so maybe we want to have these in a picture frame. So let's go for... Well, that's lovely isn't it? No, I don't think so. Or we could have this one here. So there's a lot of different things you can do with your pictures there just to uh, fancy them up a bit. Put the same picture frame on each of these here. Once you set one picture frame up, it chooses the same picture frame as you chose before. And I can also go to things like this bit here and rotate the picture a little bit as well. Well, hey, so that's there. So let's make that a bit smaller so I'm not losing so much of the picture that's underneath there. And rotate that a little bit as well. Change the size of it too. We could also have a square or a shape on there if we want to. So maybe I need to make the title stand out a little bit better. So I could do this and put it up here. Let's uh, again arrange that, send it to the back. Send it back too far there so let's arrange and bring forward one. And change the shape and size of it a little bit. Put that there. I can go to this over here and change the opacity of it a little bit. You can put shadows on that too if you wish. I do like the way that you can have all of these extra tools to line your uh, stuff up better. So that's lined it up in the centre. There's our front page set up for our iBook in iBook Author. In the next video about iBooks Author we'll have a look at adding some text into the book and you'll see that it's actually quite easy to bring it in from various places such as Pages Documents, Word Documents or Text Documents. Bye bye now. Thank you.